in this example, we are able to find the current and six ohm resistance in the circuit shown in figure. Here we can also solve it by using either KCL or KVL. Now let us first solve it with the method of Kirchhoff's voltage law, for which in the two loops say we supply two currents I1 and I2 here. Now let us write directly the KVL equation for the current I1 in this loop. If we start from this point and move along the current, so here we can say we'll write the equation with the gain in potential plus 4.5. Then this 3 ohm is minus 3 I1, then it will be minus 6 I1 minus I2, then it is equal to 0. Now, for the second loop, if we write the equation, here we can also simplify this equation. This will give us uh, this is uh, 6 plus 3 9 I1 minus uh, this will be 6 I2 is equal to 4.5. If we further simplify it, it can be written as 6 I1 minus 4 I2 is equal to 3. Say so this are equation 1. Similarly, if we write KVL equation for the current I2 in the second loop, here we can start from this point, then from this point we will write negative of 6 I2 minus I1, then if we move up it will be minus 10 I2, then it will be minus 3 is equal to 0. On simplifying, finally we are getting it 6 I1 minus 16 I2 is equals to 3. This is our equation 2. Now if we subtract these two equations like uh, we take uh, 1 minus 2, you can see the 6 I1 gets cancelled out and uh, from 16 I2 if we subtract 4 I2, this will be 12 I2 is equals to 0. This implies we are getting I2 is equals to 0. If I2 is 0, then from equation 1 we can write 6 I1 is equals to 3. This implies I1 is equals to 3 by 6. This 0 0.5 ampere, that will be the answer to this problem. Because through the 6 ohm resistance, I2 is 0, so only I1 is the current which is flowing, which we are getting 0 0.5 ampere. Let us solve the same problem by using an alternative method by using Kirchhoff's current law, for which we first need to distribute the potential at various parts of the circuit. And here let us consider on the right side of this 4.5 volt battery, we consider say zero potential. On the left hand side, as it will be 4.5 volt dire here, the potential will be 4.5 volt. And if it is zero, then at this terminal also we can consider potential to be 3 volt. Now at this junction we are not aware about the potential, we can take it a variable x. Then uh, we can directly write KCL equation for x, that is for this junction, which is uh, the sum of all outgoing currents from a junction is equals to 0. So there are 3 terminals uh, or 3 branches connected to this junction. We can write on the right hand side the current going will be x minus 0 by 6 plus the current going in this 10 ohm resistance will be x minus 3 by 10 plus the current going in this direction will be x minus 4.5 by 3 which should be equal to 0. In this situation we can take the LCM of uh, the 3 terms uh, to be equal to 30. In this situation, it will be 5x plus, we can directly write down the numerator, it will be 3x minus 9 plus 10x minus 45, which should be equal to 0. And on further simplifying here, we are getting, uh, this will be 10 plus 5, 18x is equals to 45 plus uh, 9. And this 45 plus 9 will be equals to 54. That implies the value of x is 54 by 18, that is 3 volt. 
So if the potential at x is 3 volt, we can directly write down the current in 6 ohm resistance, which will be equal to x minus 0 by 6. That will be 3 by 6, which is written as 0 0.5 ampere. That will be the answer to this problem. The same answer on the previous sheet I have calculated by using Kirchhoff's voltage law. And now you might have understood well how we can apply Kirchhoff's current law to get the result, the same result we are getting. So it's up to us in a given situation. You can use either KCL or KVL to get the result.